Oh, here, let me help you with the light, Landry. Um, um, how about this? Ah, too bright, too bright. Oh, squirrels. On the table today, it is all about DreamWorks How to Train Your Dragon The Hidden World Light Fury. We have two and a half light furies to go through, and they are extremely bright. We begin with a larger Light Fury Dragon Toy option. This one with pop-out detailed fabric dragon wings and some sort of battery feature. We have our classic Spin Master open box design with these, giving you an up close and personal look at your Light Fury. And she's contrasting well on some of these very well designed boxes. On the back of the box we have an image of the Light Fury standing about in the hidden world. Again we have notes on wings pop open and that is about it. Down below we have images of Toothless and Stormfly. I would hope to get a chance to look at those two eventually. Again, these figures being more of a larger variety, but I believe there is also a larger reissued Smoking Breath Toothless out there too. Large assortment from Spin Master. Sometimes frustrating though, as characters are always missed. Very well, Fury of Light, let's snip you out of the box and see you closer up. And Light Fury out of the box. If you're looking for instructions for your Light Fury, they are found inside the base of the box, and there's some great amount of fine print in here. I'm laughing, I've never seen so much fine print over such a basic toy. Pretty much every language is covered. I guess we'll start off by removing that battery drain protector. That's gotta feel better. What a cool looking Light Fury! This Life Fury is so much more sleeker and regal than Toothless is. They must not have a McDonald's in the hidden world. Toothless eats a lot of Big Macs, and you can see it. So what do we have for articulation on this dragon? Do we have some head rotation? No, but we do have movement in the legs. About 90 degrees in the front and a little less than that in the back legs. Spin Master Dragon toys aren't really known for their great articulation. It usually falls all onto the action feature. Let's rotate around her again and see the back of those wings. Her wings are definitely the highlight of this toy, a fabric material with a nice pattern going throughout, a gradient of white to deep blue with some lighter blue markings throughout. To activate her wing pop-out feature, looks like we have holes in her back. That's gotta be painful, so let's pop those in. Like so, I believe. Just simply fit them in. And now she's ready for pop-out action. I like these fabric wings. Seems like something they should have done a while ago. Okay, to pop out, we'll just press our finger down on that panel right where those wings popped in. Ooh, and we get a body light-up feature and a light fury growl. Let's try that again, she kind of wants to flatten out. Alright, place wings in. I'm having a slight difficult time getting her right wing post to fit into her back. Unfortunately, there's just not enough room for those posts to fit into those back holes. They just want to slide out. Her left wing is working a little better. The spring feature on the pop-out is really forcing them out too easily. I think that could have been worked on a little more in design. Let's try popping them out again. I think I'll hold this tail down and give it a shot this way. So not the best pop-out feature on mine. It's really struggling. I'm liking the sound effects a lot more than the pop-out feature though. Let's listen to a few of those. I'm detecting about three different sound effects. I like the one where she goes, oh, that's pretty funny. So good looking toy overall, just not a very good functioning toy on the feature. 
I'm also noticing two shades of white plastic going on, which I think is okay, but hopefully in the long run won't change color on us. Her head, legs, and tail have a slight darker white going on with a little bit of sparkle in there, while her main torso body is a little lighter white, and it feels like those wings are even more white, so a little bit of differences there looks fine. Sometimes you can worry with white plastic if it will yellow over time. I would hate to see the light fury, the yellow fury soon. She has a good determined dragon face head sculpt on her, and for the most part a good just general stance. Just some issues with the pop out wings, they don't work perfectly with mine, maybe you'll have a little better luck with yours. Let us know in the comments if you have one and what kind of issues you have. And for the most part, I'm pretty well pleased with her. Well let's check out another light fury. Wow, it didn't say real life flying feature on the box. The next Light Fury to take a look at, DreamWorks, How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World, Only a Target, Hidden World Gift Set. Now this scales down to the basic assortment of dragons with the action figures, and we've already looked at four of them. I was not able to locate a Light Fury in that series at Walmart, so this pack found at Target kind of fixes that, although the Light Fury does not come with an action figure, but she does come with a cool color change action feature. It's looking like Toothless is pretty much the same from what we saw before, only I do detect some sort of paint scaling going on those wings. Perhaps those work into the color change feature as well, we'll see. So if you run into this pack at Target before you run into the basic assortment of dragons at Walmart, or anywhere, this pack might be the better deal. As you get Toothless again with Hiccup, only Toothless's wings have a little more something on them. On the back of the box, pretty much the most happiest image I've ever seen Toothless flying about with the Light Fury. And a little image of how this Light Fury may work with that light up feature. Nothing really else on the back other than a lot of fine print. Spin Master loves their fine print. Alright, let's cut these lovebirds out of the box, see what they can do. And out of the box we are. Again, underneath the box packaging there are instructions for helping you figure this out and a library of fine print. These two are looking quite awesome so far though. I don't know why, but for some reason Toothless is feeling much more angrier than he did in these single packs, but it's pretty much the same thing. Maybe his teeth are painted sharper. It's hard to tell. And of course, Hiccup is back there too. Uh -oh. So I think we'll definitely push Toothless aside real quick since we've pretty much seen this one before. And Hiccup. And focus more on this Light Fury with this cool crystal. So again, this Light Fury at the scale of the basic dragon assortment. Like the other Light Fury we saw before, she's sleeker, a little thinner, maybe possibly taller. Although kind of angry right now. I like this size and scale of this Light Fury. Although again, if Spin Master could do a little more with their articulation, that would be appreciated. So what we have is front legs that move probably 90 degrees, so she could drink water. And those back legs, they do something, don't they? Well, they tie into her flapping action feature. So to get her to flap, simply press together her back legs and those wings should flap. don't believe there's anything going on with her head. There's no projectile or articulation in there to open up her jaw. That's kind of unfortunate. And again, I'm seeing that two-tone plastic deal we saw again with the larger Light Fury. Her head and body, back legs maybe being one white plastic in the front legs and her underside maybe being another. And that back tail, that's also a little bit darker. Although this is a more softer rubber on the back tail, whereas most of her is hard shell plastic. Well, I guess these front legs are soft, so kind of a mixture of plastic going on. Nothing bad, looks good, just I get worried again if it may yellow over time. So what about this cool color change option? It might be hard to see, but on the plastic of her wings I am detecting two different colors of markings. I would imagine that would be some sort of painted on work. And this crystal here will help light that up. And color change, we've got three batteries inside. You can actually see the chip inside this thing. It's very technical for Viking days. And to press the button on the side here, and it looks like we have a small black light LED inside that will aid in the effects of color change. 
So I'm gonna have to lower my light down though to really get this to work. All right, we've lowered the lights down a little bit. Now we can test out this color change option. Got our crystal ready. Ooh, very hidden world stuff going on here. Look at those wings. It's a nice little simple feature. The farther you pull away, obviously the less you're going to get. And if you're in too much light, it's not going to show too much. So you're gonna to wanna to kinda of go to a mid-level uh, lighted room. I was given this cool little black light from those untamed dinosaurs from last year. Look what it can do. That is extremely bright. That is really cool. It does not look like it has a glow in the dark feature where it stays charged. As soon as you turn off that black light, Light Fury goes back to normal. But what a fun little feature. There she is from the front. Nothing really on her head or tail. I wish her eyes would have glowed. That would have been perfect. That would have been really spectacular. And I don't believe there's anything on the underside either. I bet you could find these little black light flashlights on Amazon though, though. They're pretty cool for helping us. And if you may have just noticed, this toothless has the same feature. Whoa, that's even cooler actually. For some reason off the black, that looks amazing. The spines on his back, they're glowing. That is so cool. I'm going to need to take this toothless to a dance party. Whoa, it's so weird. The blue on there is almost like it is a painted light blue. It does not even look like it's doing the black light trick for some reason. That is so vivid. Amazing, Toothless. And both of them going. Doesn't look like Hiccup has anything, although there's a little bit of red coming off his side there. Looks like it's just the red paint on the side of his dragon scale armor. It's there even when the light is off, but it sure picks up really well because of the black light. And so does the dragon shoulder marking there too. I just can't get enough of this dragon marking. It looks so cool. And again, as you raise light levels in the room, they're going to be a little less pronounced, but still pretty good right now at this light level. I wish the small crystal flashlight was a little more powerful. Look at that. I'm not getting much at all in this light level. I'm glad I have this light to kind of show you guys how awesome these color change features are. And now back to your regularly lit up table. I'm actually still getting some really good results from this high powered black light flashlight. Not so much from this though. And of course again this toothless has a projectile weapon. Just place the dart into his mouth and to fire, is it the legs or is it the head? Oh, the legs. And Hiccup once again appears with his fire sword weapon. So if you're looking for a really cool light up pack with Toothless and the new Light Fury, this target pack is one to look for. Man, she's good at that. Yeah, I don't know if you're in her league yet, Toothless. And our final DreamWorks How to Train Your Dragon the Hidden World Light Fury to look at today. Now this one falls somewhere in between the basic assortment of dragons and the larger dragons, maybe. I'm really confused how Spin Master does things. Now she's looking about the same scale as what we just saw with the Light Up Light Fury. Maybe that matched to a 3 inch action figure look. However, this Light Fury is standing a little more upright. Her head is a little more giraffe-like, and possibly slightly more articulation in her head and legs, but not much. The reason why I was saying half a light fury was that I was kind of thinking about saving this toy for a review if I could find a Toothless, Stormfly, Meat Lug, and Hookfang from this series. So far I've only seen Toothless on shelves and I've picked that one up, and if I could just find maybe two of the three of Stormfly, Meat Lug, and Hookfang, I would like to review these guys in a separate review. I'm kind of thinking with the absence of action features that these are trying to match the look of the dragons the closest, although nothing really spot on yet. Really the best dragon matches from Spin Master and How to Train Your Dragon was the original series way back in the day. You can pretty much see this one in this pack as is, I don't even really need to take it out yet.
So there is the two and a half Light Furies of the day. I think my favorite has to be the color change Light Fury in the center there. She matches well with the basic assortment of dragons, and I really can't get enough of this glowy feature. The larger Light Fury figure though is pretty cool, even though the action feature doesn't work that great. And of course the Light Fury point five. She doesn't have glowy effects, but she sure looks more authentic to the Light Fury on screen. Now I just need to figure out how to screw her into one of my desk lamps. She produces some good light. Ouch! DreamWorks, How to Train Your Dragon the Hidden World from Spin Master, Light Fury Toys arrive on store shelves in January 2019. Light Fury Hiccup Color Change Pack from Target runs approximately 30. A larger scale pop-up winged Light Fury runs approximately 20. And the single Light Fury .5 runs about 10. Several options to choose from and possibly more. It is looking bright for the Light Fury in the toy world of How to Train Your Dragon. Just make sure to put a blanket over her or something when you're trying to sleep, as she may be a little bright. That's what I have to say about that. The light squirrel was so bright, it was said she caused sunspots in your eyes. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please like, share, subscribe.